Hi everyone, my name is Jorge Wellesley. I'm a visual artist based in Gothenburg, New Jersey. First of all, I want to thank the Visual Arts Center of New Jersey for the opportunity to participate in this Cabin Fever Artist Talks. My work is about the relationship between truth, reality, and language. But there is a problem. I have seen that language is not enough to interpret reality and to communicate truth. That's why I'm also uh, interested in arbitrary nature of language and its flaws that affect social relationships. Most of my work has been using text in relation to cultural issues that we are constantly facing in real life, like miscommunication. However, text is not always the morphology that I use to talk about crisis of content. I also use symbolic elements like billboards or public signs that reminds us how the power addresses us through propaganda, advertising, media, and nowadays social media. I consider myself a multimedia artist, constantly moving in different directions and materials, but always pointing to the complexity of how to create meaning and sense. I always follow those schools like Bauhaus, or the Black Mountain College that pay attention to experiments and the combination of several disciplines like art, design, architecture, etc. I have to mention Ludwig Wittgenstein, the philosopher, as one of those influences that allow me to learn how language is an arbitrary but necessary tool to build our reality. Anything could be a reference for me, a book, a phrase, an image, but it always has to point out something about language and its own contradictions. I don't think that this new situation affects the subject of my work. The art business, yes, but that's another matter. Actually, my routine as an artist is similar to being in quarantine. There is this kind of isolation that I need to focus on my practice every day. However, for some reason, I began making small works, something closer to what confinement means. In the beginning of the year, I had more time to work on painting projects without distractions. Most of the time, I have been organizing ideas and working alone, hoping that things come back again to normal. I miss the sense of gathering around in the city, visiting galleries and museums. I have participated so far this year in a few exhibitions. And I have seen many projects going on virtual more and more. No matter how much the importance of technology increases, I think art will remain like books. It needs a physical presence in, in our lives because people need to see, smell, touch it. The time I was living in Cuba, my work was affected by the political scene in many ways, like many other artists. It's not a secret that my country has suffered from communism for more than half a century. And that's a reality that I couldn't avoid. At that time, my art was kind of a mirror of the social and political reality in a moderate way. I was not an activist, but any kind of work that criticized the government or were against the establishment could be easily censored or punished, even with prison. For instance, in my case, in 2012 I was invited to participate in Havana Vallejo, and after several permissions were requested to a government office, I was denied to show these installations because uh, the text I proposed to display in the city were threatening or politically incorrect. Now I see a much more wide universe of possibilities for my work. When I came to the US, it caused an impact in my personal life as an immigrant and it produced a completely opposite experience as an artist. This is an example of what I'm saying. I made my first public sculpture here in 2019 and I chose the word soul to play with. It was an embrace of four letters in different colors representing human diversity in order to shape a legible word. 
This culture tries to enclose that space that doesn't exist physically. Soul is a space of the consciousness and incorporeal essence that is impossible to refine. But tests and images allow it to come alive in a poetical way. Well, thank you all so much for watching. And you can follow me on Instagram at Jorge Wellesley. And you can also check my website at www.jorgewellesley.com. Thank you.